Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Vishanand. This is a game from World Rapid Championship, played in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in 2017. Magnus Carlsen, the world champion, had white pieces and he started with d4. Vishanand played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3. Bishop to b4, Nimzo, Indian defense, e3, the Rubenstein variation, Anand, castle kingside, Bishop to d3, d5, asking a question, Bishop takes damage in the pawn structure, pawn takes Bishop, d takes on c4, Bishop takes on c4, or the standard moves, c5, attacking white center, knight to f3, Queen to c7, explain the bishop on c4, bishop to e2, b6, bishop to b2, bishop to b7, and Magnus Carlsen castled kingside 2. Knight from b to d7, c4, intending d5 at the right moment, and the bishop would be aiming then at g7 square. Rook from a to c8, rook to c1, Rook from f to d8, lining the rook with white queen. Queen to b3. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Vision unplayed a knight to g4. With a serious threat. What is the threat? If something like random move, then what happens then? Bishop takes on f3, and after bishop takes, queen takes on h2. Back to our game. So, Magnus Carlsen played g3, defending, but weakening light squares around his king. Black to move. Alan played knife on g to f6. There was a game in the 19. 90 between Passerotti and Giangava. Giangava played with black pieces played Queen to c6 and went on to win the game. I don't know if Anand was aware of this game. Anand played knight on g to f6. He had a plan for his knight. Rook from f to d1. Knight to e4. This is not an ordinary knight. This is a knight mayor. Knight to e1. Knight to d6. Carlsen played d5, making the bishop on b2 very happy. And the bishop on b7 unhappy. e takes on d5. c takes on d5. c4 attacking the queen. The queen to c2. And now b5. I guess Anand was quite pleased with his position. Knight to g2, knight to c5, knight to f4, queen to e7. Both players are trying to find the best spots for their pieces. Bishop to g4, attacking the rook, rook to c7, queen to c3, threatening checkmate. How would you defend? If f6, then bishop to e6 check. Anand played f5, defending and attacking. Bishop to f3, rook from c to d7, queen to b4, knight to b3, attacking the white rook. And instead of playing rook to c2, Magnus Carlsen attacked the rook on d8. How would you continue? Vishalan played. Knight takes rook. And what happened now? Rook takes knight. Well, if knight takes on d8, this is what Carlsen perhaps wanted to do. But then knight to a2, in between move, attacking the queen. And after queen to d2, rook takes on d8. And black is a piece up. Back to our game. Rook takes on c1 was played. 
but it's not as easy as it looks for Black. Because if Black saves the rook, he gets in trouble. Anand played knight to c8. Well, surely he considered moving the rook. Let's move the rook to a safe spot. But then a knight takes on g7, and Black King would be in trouble. The knight may go to h5, and the white queen may come to c3. Back to our game. So Anand was not interested in saving the rook. He played knight to c8, allowing Carlsen to win the pawn. Queen takes on b5. What if knight takes rook? If knight takes on d8, queen takes on b4, and after a takes on b4, rook takes on d8. And black is better, slightly, but better. Back to our game. Queen takes on b5. And now again, moving the rook is not a good idea. If rook to e8, knight takes on g7. And this is even worse for black than before. Anand played the best move. Rook takes on d5. An excellent move. Bishop takes on d5. Rook takes bishop. The position for white is worse than what it looks like on the surface. White has light square weaknesses around his king, and Anand is already imagining planting his queen on g2. Checkmate. Of course, with the support of the bishop on b7. Queen to b4, offering to exchange queens. If queens are exchanged, then white king is laughing. Knight to d6. Knight to c5, attacking the bishop, which Anand needs for the checkmating plane. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. If bishop to a8, queen to b8, check. To c6, bishop to d4. And it is unclear who is winning. Vishanan played the best move. The exchange sacrifice. Rook takes on c5. Queen takes rook. Black to move. Black played a move and white resigned. And the move is... Queen to e4. Carlsen resigned in view of this continuation. Well, king to f1, trying to escape. Queen to h1, check. King to e2, bishop to f3, check. King to d2, knight to e4, check. King to c2, queen takes rook, check. Bishop takes queen, knight takes on c5. And now, even if Stockfish and Houdini had their powers combined, Anand would beat them from this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.